Hello. So I'm going to speak uh, about the power of homogeneous algebraic formulas. <clears throat> It's a joint work with Nutan Limay from ITU Copenhagen, Shrikant Srinivasan from University of Copenhagen, and Sebastian Tavnas from Université Savoie Mont Blanc. <clears throat> so we are going to speak uh, about arithmetic circuits and lower bounds. So consider this polynomial. So first it's written uh, as the sum of its uh, monomials. And uh, so and, uh, below it's written in a factorized way, so we, which is way more compact. So what is the uh, underlying uh, model of computation? It's uh, arithmetic uh, formulas. So what is an arithmetic formula? You have one uh, pictured uh, here. So it's a um, tree, direct tree, with leaves labeled by either a scalar from a field or a variable. And internal nodes are, um, are labeled by addition and uh, product. And so each gate naturally computes um, a polynomial over that field and these variables. And so there is an output, uh, an output gate, and this is the polynomial computed by the formula. So there are two parameters of interest uh, in formulas. Uh, uh, okay, so here I, okay, so in formulas or circuits, so I do everything at a time. So uh, an arithmetic circuit is a, a generalization of a formula. Instead of having uh, an underlying graph, which is a tree, it's a, we have a directed acyclic graph. And so it's also called a straight line program. So there are two parameters of interest for either uh, formulas or circuits. Uh, the size, which is the number of gates, the number of arithmetic operations we need to do. I mean, we need, we need for this computation to compute the polynomial. And the depth, which is the longest path from, um, from a leaf to the root. So if the depth is small, we can parallelize the computation. So what is the main goal of uh, algebraic complexity? The main goal of algebraic complexity is uh, to prove uh, lower bounds for the size of uh, circuits computing some polynomials. And what is the best bound we have? So Baron Strassen uh, have shown that uh, it takes omega of n log n operations to compute x1 to the n plus x2 to the n plus xn to the n. So omega of n log d if the power is d and there are n variables. And up to date, this is uh, the best lower bound we have for general uh, circuits. So we have very uh, polynomials which are supposed to be way more difficult, but the lower bound is not better than this one. So <clears throat> Uh, we have uh, better results as this, better lower bounds for a restricted model of computation. So, uh, uh, so formula, for example, is already a restriction of circuit, which would be the natural uh, computing, uh, uh, I mean, computing uh, formalism, right, for uh, arithmetic computation. So we can reduce the depth or we can compute uh, non-commutative polynomial or uh, do monotone computations, which means that um, monomials um, cannot cancel. I mean, if some monomial appears somewhere in the computation, it has to be there in the final, in the final polynomial. So I give here two examples of uh, restricted circuits. I mean, I will speak about homogeneous, multilinear is the same. So we say that the circuit is homogeneous if every gate computes a homogeneous polynomial. Of course, a homogeneous circuit, circuit computes a homogeneous polynomial. But we may have uh, some clever way to compute a homogeneous polynomial with some intermediate steps not being um, homogeneous. And I will give uh, an example later. So now I will uh, state some of the lower bounds, some of the most uh, striking lower bounds 
uh, we have for restricted models uh, of computation. So Baron Strassen, I already mentioned, it's for comparison. Um, Nissan 91, uh, he proved uh, uh, an exponential lower bound uh, for monotone formulas. And it's uh, even, uh, even uh, better than formulas, right? It's a branching program, which is intermediate between formulas and uh, circuits. So Nissan and uh, Wick Derson 97, so exponential error band again for homogeneous depth three circuits. So everything is important here. Uh, there is this uh, very strong result of Han Raz in 2009. This is a JCM paper. So it's a lower band on the size of multilinear formulas. So each gate has to compute a multilinear polynomial. Uh, for uh, the determinant or the permanent. So it's a super uh, uh, it's an exponential uh, lower bound, yes. Um, what is this? No, it should be it should be uh, n to the log n to two to the omega of log square n. But it's a super polynomial. I mean, this bound is tight, so because we have a branching program that we can expand. And um, uh, so the, the very strong result uh, of uh, my three co-authors, Nathan uh, Limay, Shrikant Srinivasan, and Sebastian Tervnas. So it's a, an exponential lower bound for a constant, uh, constant depth circuits So, uh, okay, it depends on the parameter. It's, it's, for constant depth uh, circuits, yes. Um, and so we'll come back to this. So what are the tools uh, we use for the lower bounds? Uh, there is one tool um, uh, which is uh, used in almost, I mean, in many of the results or all the results I have mentioned, um, so, okay, except uh, maybe Baron Strassen, but after that, and yes, and I mean, even Baron Strassen. So after that, oh, and all the papers use this. So we um, define a measure um, associated to a polynomial, which is the rank of some of the partial derivatives or all. So there are some parameters we can, we can change and choose and some variants. And this uh, is uh, the, the, it measures the difficulty of a polynomial. So for this uh, approach to work, we have to show that if a small circuit computes a polynomial, so restricted in a way, because it's always for restricted uh, computation, then the, the polynomial it computes as a small measure. And if we have, and usually we have a polynomial with a high measure in uh, some class like VNP, and then we 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 show we get some lower bound. And the second um, set of results, the second tools we use uh, to get lower bounds is a set of structural results. So for example, uh, depth reduction, right? For example, we know for, that for arithmetic circuits, we can always parallelize an arithmetic circuit to polylogarithmic uh, depths. Uh, so this is a depth reduction result. And uh, uh, another uh, structural result, the one we are interested in today, is homogenization. So uh, how much does it cost to uh, homogenize a formula? So we have a formula computing a, a, a polynomial, which is homogeneous. So the formula itself may not be homogeneous, but we want another formula, homogeneous one, computing the same polynomial. And we want to do it uh, without uh, blowing up the formula too much. Because if, if we don't care about the size, we can always do it. Yeah, so I wanted to give an example of non-homogeneous computation. So it is, uh, it is due to Benor. 
So the um, elementary symmetric uh, polynomial of uh, degree d on n variable, so it's recalled what it is here, s and d. And so it, it, is not, it is easy to check that s and d, we see it, right, is a, uh, a coefficient of uh, power of t in the product of t plus xi. And by interpolation, we can get this coefficient, and it gives a really small formula, sigma pi sigma. It means that the, the top gate is the sums, and below we have product, and so on, uh, of uh, quadratic size. But of course, it's not homogeneous at all, because it's of degree n, while d could be really small. So one uh, high-level approach to improve lower bounds against algebraic formulas is to show two sets of results, uh, homogeneiz homogenization, that uh, from an homogeneous formula, we can get homogeneous formula, which is not too much bigger, and lower bounds for homogeneous model of computation. So the question we, we have addressed uh, in this work is the one of uh, lower bounds, the relationship between lower bounds, homogenization of algebraic formula, so are there techniques for proving lower bounds again homogeneous algebraic formulas of any depth? Uh, can we convert general formulas to quasi-homogeneous formulas efficiently, even in the high degree setting? So uh, yeah, I will recall uh, maybe the result of uh, yeah, later. Can we convert constant depth formulas efficiently? Um, to constant depth homogeneous formula in the low degree setting over field of positive characteristic. So what have we proved? So uh, there, are, there is one uh, positive result, homogenization. So we improve bounds for homogenization and quasi-homogenization, I will say what it is in characteristic zero. Uh, we'll, and we'll show lower bounds against a variant of homogeneous formulas, which is weighted homogeneous formulas, and lower bonds in the non-commutative setting. And we tackle also a question on positive, uh, in positive characteristic. So let's speak first about the lower bound against weighted homogeneous formulas. So um, uh, we prove uh, super polynomial lower bounds for this variant of homogeneous uh, formulas. And what is important is it works for any depth. So what is weighted formula, weighted homogeneous formula? So we have variables Z1, Z1 Zn, and Zi has weight i, uh, which means uh, it's like uh, its degree, right? So Z1, Z2, for example, has weight 3, and Z3 has weight 3. So when we sum them, we get a weighted homogeneous uh, formula. So this polynomial, which is difficult, is a sum of variables. You raise to a power L, and you take the homogeneous component of the D. And so for, for some choice of parameter, uh, we have a uh, super polynomial lower bound. So what does it say? It says that uh, lower bounds, again, homogeneous formulas may be obtained, right? Because it, here it's a small variant. And it also says that um, if we want to prove lower bounds for this model of weighted uh, formulas, uh, we cannot go through a process uh, I mentioned, the high-level approach, uh, because uh, we cannot homogenize uh, uh, for a small cost. So the second result is improved bounds for quasi-homogenization in characteristic zero. So, now I want to recall the result of, um, of uh, Ranraz. So um, that so first the folklore result, uh, we can get a homogeneous formula of size D to the O of log S, um, with D is a degree and S is a size. And Ranraz, uh, I mean, studying better the, the usual homogenization process, uh, proved that uh, if, uh, and if uh, D is a small O of log S, in fact, we can homogenize the formula uh, for free. So, 
polynomial cost. And other uh, result in uh, some other context. And so uh, we improved uh, super polynomially the bound on, uh, on this. We got uh, if D is S to a smaller of one, we get a homogeneous formula of size, of size D to the smaller of log S. And uh, quasi homogenization, so uh, which means that the syntactic degree is at most D to the one plus epsilon. For, for, so for any epsilon positive, uh, we have a formula of syntactic degree at most D to the one plus epsilon, which is of size, again, D to the smaller of S. Um, the third result uh, we got is lower bounds for non-commutative homogenization. So I will not go into the detail of this because I'm running out of time. But one important motivation for this is that um, homogenization, homogenization of general formulas is equivalent to homogenization of these three non-commutative formulas. So this is a nice way to tackle the question. And um, so what have we proved? Uh, we have proved the lower bound in the non-commutative context. So for the non-commutative uh, version of the elementary symmetric polynomial, which is recalled here when we order the variables, um, we have uh, lower bounds for uh, homogeneous non-commutative algebraic formula of a given uh, product depth. And if the degree is small enough, irrespective of, of the depth. So the, la the last uh, question, the last result um, is um, um, in positive characteristics. So one can we homogenize in positive characteristics? Uh, in, so one motivation for this, uh, so the question is interesting in itself. Um, and uh, we prove that one way to prove this, which is a bit analog to Girard-Newton identity, is not possible. So one motivation for this uh, was uh, to, to extend the uh, lower bonds of uh, uh, Limay, uh, Srinivasan, and Tavnas to the setting of positive characteristic. And this uh, was uh, obtained by uh, Forbes, so it's in uh, CCC this year. Uh, so I think, I think that's it, and thank you.